bring in House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, who's got an office not too far from where uh, Kevin is standing. Uh, Congressman, can you explain the politics to me? Because <laughs> everybody knows there are not 20 Republican senators who are going to vote to throw Donald Trump out of office. And yet Nancy Pelosi and now Chuck Schumer are doing their best to make it seem like uh, that is going to happen. Explain the politics. Who's holding them to the fire? It's not really politics. It's a nightmare. This is what they campaigned on. This is their agenda. Remember, they selected their committee chairs based upon who they thought would be best to handle impeachment with Nadler. You got a Hakeem Jeffries, who is the number three in their in their upper insulons of uh, their leadership. He voted for impeachment a year ago before the phone call even took place. So this is all that they're about. And you were correct about the contrast. Here's the president overseas promoting America, and they're going to be over in the Senate promoting this nightmare even further. But it's such a weak case, they're going to start their whole argument out about this case is weak, we need to change it. There is no change that needs to take place. If it's based upon the phone call, we all have the transcript. We don't need a much time to go through it. You know what was said on both sides. There's nothing in there that's impeachable. Let's get back doing to what mm -hmm. the American public wants us to do, the okay. business at hand. Well, every single day it's been a contrast. We saw last week the front cover of the Post we talked about on the morning show. It, it was Nancy Pelosi with impeachment, and then it was the president signing one of the trade deals. The next day he did the other trade deal. Now he's over in Davos trying to make deals with other companies for America and putting America first. Is the country so sick of this impeachment? I mean, from what I'm hearing from folks down south in middle America, not New Yorkers, not Californians, they're so tired of this. They want, they want the president to be able to do his job, and they want lawmakers to be focused on what's important to them, and it's not impeachment. I think it's even further. I think it's in California and uh, New York, too. I'm getting stopped with people saying just that. But you are correct. You could take that even back further. September 24th, when the president is at the U.N. General Council, when all the world leaders are around, that's when Nancy Pelosi walked out and did her press conference, said she was moving forward with impeachment. Then you went to December 4th, when the president was acting, when he was in NATO. They went out and did the same announcement. And they had their, those um, professors come in. They mm -hmm. have timed it each and every time. Um, to try to upset this president, to try to talk about something else than what Congress should be working on. But the great thing about this president, he never lets that get to him. And we have the strongest economy in the history of America in the last 50 years.